Gathered friends, listen again to our legend of the Bionicle. Hello everyone, it's Brian, and here on Amachinui Tales, we will be examining the different organizations that have dominated the Bionicle universe. Today, let's focus on the mercenaries of the criminal underworld, the Dark Hunters. The Dark Hunters were a collection of mercenaries and bounty hunters led by a single leader named the Shadowed One. These members only worked for profit and would take on any task as long as the reward was big enough, even if it meant risking their own lives. To gain admittance, the candidates had to pass various tests, which included mental preparation and physical combat. Once admitted, members were given food, shelter, and protection from their enemies. If any member was murdered, the murderer would be hunted down and killed. Despite these benefits, members are also given a couple of rules. First, they must live the life of a dark hunter for all eternity. Those who betray the organization are eliminated. Most dark hunters took on code names as they entered their new way of life leaving their real names to be forgotten. Second, any treasures that were found during their missions would be turned over to the Shadowed One. Those who hid these treasures were to be tortured. Third, insults or treason against the leader did not go unpunished. The Dark Hunters first started off as an idea from a Dark Hunter codenamed Ancient. Ancient accepted higher from those who paid the most. The Shadowed One took inspiration from this and, with the help of Ancient, founded the Dark Hunters on the hidden island of Odina. The band of mercenaries started recruiting through manipulation, force, treachery, and even mutation. They've also accomplished many missions for money, including stealing, murder, and disappearances. The Brotherhood of Makuda later decided to strike a deal with the Dark Hunters. The Brotherhood promised to provide enhancements, rahi, and weapons to the mercenaries in return for their services. The Dark Hunters have had major influences on the history of Bionicle. During its early years, the criminals stole a powerful staff known as the Staff of Artaka from the city island of Mechanui to pay for weapons. Later on, a key and tablet known as the Makoki Stone was taken by beasts known as Skakti before the Dark Hunters could retrieve it. The Skakti soon after joined the Dark Hunters with the Makoki Stone at hand. Their loyalty was questionable though, and the Skakti ultimately left the Dark Hunters to form their own band known as the Paraka. Later on, the Shadowed One, who was seeking more power, made plans to conquer Mechanui. After various indirect attempts to take the city were unsuccessful, including unleashing the Konohi dragon, the leader took a more direct approach. The Dark Hunters overwhelmed the city and convinced one of the city's protectors, Toa Nidiki, to betray his fellow Toa. It seemed hopeless at first for the remaining Toa, until reinforcements of over 300 Toa arrived to ambush the Dark Hunters. Toa Lakan, leader of the Protectors, allowed them to leave Mechanui while taking Nidiki with them in exchange for the Makoki Stone. Centuries after, three Dark Hunters, Nidiki, Kreka, and Eliminator, were sent to Mechanui at the request of Makuta Teradax. The Dark Hunters were assigned to eliminate the Toa Protectors of the island and find the Great Dis. The Great Cataclysm occurred soon after, and the Makuta decided to kill Nidiki and Kreka to create a body for himself. Believing that the Toa killed his fellow Dark Hunters, the Shadowed One and his loyal servants Sentrok and Voporak went to Mechanui to investigate. Having been revealed the truth by Toa Vakama, the Shadowed One ended the Dark Hunters' mutual relationship with the Brotherhood of Makuta and declared war on them. Some time later, a secretive order known as the Order of Matanui revealed themselves and also declared war on the Brotherhood. 
The Dark Hunters allied with the Order and were instructed to stop weapon production on the island of Zia. Commanded by the Shadowed One, a large Dark Hunter fleet was sent over and was tasked to completely wipe the island. But the Order threatened the Dark Hunters not to do that. The Dark Hunters agreed and occupied Zia instead. After taking over the Matorn universe, Makuta Teradax sent Rakshi to invade the Dark Hunters' headquarters, only to find out that the Bounty Hunters had already moved to Zia. After discovering viruses hidden on Zia, the Shattered One plotted to overthrow the Great Spirit Matanui, but disappeared after a virus went loose. Once Makuta Teradax was killed during the battle with Matanui, the Dark Hunters migrated to the newly reformed planet of Spheres Magna. The Shattered One reappeared and began to form a new army of Dark Hunters with old and new members alike. It is unknown what future deeds the Dark Hunters will do in this new world, but if the price is right, they will surely strike again. If you'd like to see more tales, check out our channel and our videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is the way of the Bionicle.